How's it going guys, it's Josh here and welcome to part 2 of building my insane gaming setup 2017. Uh, now you'll start to notice my old setup is looking a little different now. And in part 1 we looked at the new desk, we put that together so that was awesome. Um, in today's video we're going to look at the monitors I'm using um, and also the speakers as well. So I'll give you a bit of a rundown on those. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be good, let's do it. Right then guys, so as you can see over here we have, uh, we've got the setup. Um, yeah, we've got the three monitors on there now and the speakers. So, I'm going to talk a little bit today about the uh, the monitors and the speakers. We'll talk about the speakers first. So, just going over to them uh, over here. We've got the uh, KRK Rocket 5s. Now, can't recommend these anymore. Absolutely brilliant speakers. Uh, I've had them a couple years now. Didn't really see any need to change them as they, they do everything I need them to do, to be honest. Really clear audio, uh, good for mixing as well. Um, so yeah, highly recommend them. Pretty cheap as well, uh, as far as monitors go, um, for about £110 each. So yeah, I'll definitely recommend those uh, brilliant speakers. Moving on to the main attraction now, the monitors. Now these are 27-inch monitors. Um, they are the Asus VN279, I believe. And uh, yeah, they're 27 inch, and the reason I went for these is because they were literally the only monitors I could find that met my sort of criteria. Um, I had quite a long list of things that I wanted them to have. Uh, the priority really was for them to have a slim bezel, which these, uh, these do. They're pretty much the slimmest I've seen on any monitor, apart from some of the Dell monitors. They're uh, yeah, very, very slim indeed, but um, I did look at some of those, but they had glossy screens. And just because of glare and stuff, I thought it'd be better to go for Summit, so, Summit Matte. Um, but yeah, these are absolutely brilliant. They've got DisplayPort as well, which was on my uh, on my list. I've heard quite a lot of bad stories about using sort of um, DisplayPort to HDMI adapters for your graphics card. So I thought I'll just go play it safe and go with DisplayPort monitors. Um, so that these have uh, have DisplayPort as well. So that's good. Um, and also, I wanted them to be wall mountable. Now, originally, I wasn't actually bothered about wall mounting the monitors at all. I was just like, oh, I have them on the stands. But um, after seeing some setups online and stuff of what it looks like, I think it's going to look a lot better if it's wall mounted. So we're actually going to wall mount all of these. Um, there's going to be uh, no stand. So they do have a vase mount, so that's uh, that's brilliant. Um, as far as picture goes, really good. Um, and another thing as well, the panels, I think they're AMVA plus panels um, that are made by Asus and they have a very good viewing angle so when you've got a uh, a bit of an angle on your triple monitor setup um, absolutely brilliant so yeah really chuffed with these monitors um, I would definitely definitely recommend them not the cheapest at all because uh, some of the 27 inch monitors were around about 150 160 quid uh, these were 250 so definitely on the sort of higher end um, of, of 27 inch monitors but like I say really really pleased with them so um, yeah that should be good um, just heading around the back you'll see we've got quite a lot of cables uh, around here and underneath as well these are all going to be out of sight um, once everything's done and um, we're going to do like uh, a load of cable management so it's going to look really neat because you don't want to go and spend a load on doing a setup and then you've just got cables everywhere ruining it so uh, yep we're going to do that so that should be good uh, so just cutting around to the other side of the room, you'll see we've got our 55 inch Sony Bravia TV over here. Now this is going to be mounted, believe it or not, above the uh, the triple monitors. So we're going to have some uh, wicked quad display setup going on, so it's going to look um, really good. Really great TV that, I'm uh, hoping sort of it looks in, in keeping with the rest of the setup, so it should look good. We've got some LEDs ready to go on that as well to backlight the wall. Um, just looking under the desk, we've got the PC sat there. Now, I'm not sure whether to eventually get like a little shelf to pop it on top of. Um, I think that might be a good idea. We'll see how it goes, though. And uh, as you see, we've got the leg under the table. Um, this this table, I said in the last video, it's about two and a half meters long. So I didn't know whether it would bow in the middle. I know we're wall mounting stuff, so it's, it's not really going to have any weight on. But yeah, I was a bit worried about it bowing. So we've got a leg to go in the middle. It's not screwed in yet, which is why it looks sort of off-center. Um, but yeah, that's getting done uh, later this week, so that should be fine. Um, yeah, just zooming back out again. Yep, really pleased with how it's looking so far. It's looking uh, looking great. Now, this this uh, later this week, we're getting everything wall-mounted. So like I said, the monitor's being wall-mounted and also the TV as well. Um, so yeah, that's sort of 
going to be part three is mounting um, everything so yeah I look forward to uh, to doing that as always guys thanks very much for watching today I hope you enjoyed uh, what, what we did today and um, stay tuned next week for part three because we are going to wall mount all of this stuff so it's going to look really really cool uh, can't wait to do it um, so yeah stay tuned for that guys and I will see you in the next one